What's up guys, it's going to be another Flower Boy exclusive. So today is going to be an unboxing. I have the Ranger 2000. I got this little gem uh, on Amazon. Uh, it's an FPV uh, glider. Uh, as you can see, it has the FPV camera option up front. You can also put payload. Uh, this comes off and you put the camera there. Um, so it says it's a click and plug, easy to assemble, as you can see. Uh, we look at the box, and we look at the box and the little detail. Like I said, it says that it's, it's easy to assemble. Uh, schematics are right here. If y'all pause, you guys can see it's 2000 millimeter wingspan and 11,043 millimeter length for the body all right Whoop. and i have the brushless uh motor on it so let's open her up and see how it works all right i'm gonna put the camera down for a second so that we can open her up Other than me just taking the tape off, <laughs> you seen what I'm seeing. So let's see what's inside the box. Well, of course, we have the Bible, RC Bible, the manual is here. It appears it's nicely packed. It's in some bubble wrap. We have the wings. Okay, let's take out one of the wings. All right, I'm doing this one-handed, so I give me a break. Hold on, that's it. All right, guys. So I have the right wing here. We look, this appears that the servos are already in with no uh, servo uh, arms, so that means that we're gonna have to pull them out. And they sell, they leave a little slot so that you can put the screwdriver in to tighten. Uh, it has a spar on the aileron. It has no flaps, but it does have places where you can put the hinges and cut to allow you to have flaps. And, oh, I'm seeing here that, um... It has places for the hinges to go, but it, it, it's the regular old um, farm hinges. I don't like that. I would have wished they would have at least put the hinges in. They have a place for the hinges, but no hinges. Or am I mistaken? Oh, no. The hinges are in there. Okay. I stand corrected. The hinges, the plastic hinges are in there. So, as you can see, plastic hinges are in there. Let's see. Is that for the flaps as well? Yep. So we cut that slit. Cut that slit. And your flaps will work. Okay. I was wondering, because why would you have the server there? If you're not gonna run flaps. That's weird. So yeah. You gotta cut that little section off right there. And then you'll have working flaps. Okay. So yes, you have working flaps. Cool beans. All right, put those to the side. We have the decals, the Ranger decals. That's pretty cool. Yep, yep. All right, so we'll put that here for now. <laughs> All right, let's see what's inside. What else is inside? Okay. Uh, well, that's weird. So the box is inside out. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, uh, what we have here? Uh, let's see. Hold on one sec. All right, let's see. What we got? We have here, ah, we have the elevator. Again, it's already, it's got spars. 
on the elevator and on the vertical stab, so that's pretty cool. All right. Like I said, it is nicely packed. That is the rudder. Uh -huh. Hinged. Nice. Everything just plugs in, screws in. That's pretty cool. All right. And now for the main. Like I said, this is nice to have. But... So now for the main deal. Wow, that's nice. What is this? Uh, it looks like just something to hold together. Put that to the side. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The fuselage. As you can see. Sorry for the light. Fuselage. Nice, made out of plastic. It's made out of plastic material. Pretty cool. It's supposed to be able to come on. I feel like it's held on with magnets. So there's no magnets. What it actually is is these little clips. Put them back in. Shh. Put them in now. Is these little clips that are here that are holding everything together. And there is the inner portion. So this part right here is supposed to be able to put the FPV. It has a place for your antenna to go. Let's see if we can. Take this piece off. Oh, okay. So that is. <laughs> yeah, okay, I broke that already. I gotta glue that back together. So that little tab, so. Comes off from the front. And I didn't see that right there. I guess if I would read my instructions, I would have saw that it had that little tab there. So that's the release, the release mechanisms right there. Take it out. So then let's see what we got inside. Plenty of place area to put your FPV gear and your battery. Definitely. All the servos, ESC. Let's see what kind of. Better connector. Ah, there you go. All right. Has a little hump for when you better land it. See what the KV of the motor is. Y'all see that? KV of the motor. It is a. OMA 22165KV 14,000. All right. Then we got uh, the prop, the servo horns, wires, and the screws, and a screwdriver included. All right. So, along with all that that I, I got also a 
5.8 gigahertz transmitter. And this is a transmitter combo. Because it came with not only did it come with the transmitter, which is this little small thing right here. So let me get it out. That's the transmitter. Also, antenna, which we're not going to use. We're going to have better antenna on it. Came with this stuff. And then it has like the little pieces that you need to put that in. Alright, and I'm gonna run that over one more time to get them uh get the little six channel cameras. You pretty much you don't really need that many channels. It um doesn't have gear. All it has is the elevator, the ailerons, the flaps. You need your throttle and you need your rudder. And that's it. All right, guys. Um, so I'm going to assemble it. And then once I have everything assembled, uh, I will give you a flight preview, uh, review of what the plane looks like. As always, we the flyer boys. We fly right and we go home. And I hope everyone's doing well through this COVID-19 um, deal. And um, all right, see you later. See you on the flight line.